Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. As I was making breakfast for myself and the dogs, I got to thinking. Um, they eat pretty well, my dogs do. I mean, you that's some rice, some leftover beans, hard boiled egg, a couple duck eggs cracked in there, and then a lot of rabbit. Um, I, I, I have a bunch of rabbit that I like to feed them, and I have some in the refrigerator, and I can cook up. All I do is I throw it in a pot and boil it in the morning when I get up. So in no time it's ready, I pull it off the bones. Now yesterday I gave it to them raw and they liked that, but today I cooked it up. My my dogs eat extremely well. And I got to thinking, you know what, my dogs eat better than some humans. In a raw event, what am I going to do uh, if I have people show up at my door that are hungry? Knowing that I give perfectly good, I mean very good food to my dogs. Um, what am I going to do? Would I have the ability and the strength to put my dogs down just to feed another human? How about a seven-year-old girl or little boy at my gate starving? Are my dogs more important than their life? That's a hard question. Nowadays we have dogs as, as pets. A um, hundred years ago they weren't pets. They actually did a purpose on the homestead or the farm. So what would you do? Would you be willing to put your animal down to help sustain a, another human being? Or, what are you going to do with your animal when you run out of food? Are you going to just release them? In a raw event, there's going to be a lot of wild animals that are very hungry. My dogs hunt a lot. Um, they just got a rabbit last week, a wild rabbit, not one of my cage ones. And last year they actually took a small deer down. Um, they were very proud of themselves. I wasn't too happy with them, but they, they were very proud. So this is awesome food, they eat well, but would I be willing to put my dog down to take this food and feed another human being? I ask that question to you also. Thanks for watching.